Okay, continuing. I get in arguments with great Aussies, great Canadians, and great UKers, whether they be Irish, Scottish, or British, or, or Welsh, whatever it is. You know, now they have the identity of uh, UKers, United Kingdoms, under this little rodent. Well, I guess you've already got the image of him up there. Uh, the, the, the progeny, he admits, of Count Dracula. You, you, you didn't know that, just type Prince Charles Count Dracula. He, he admits it. He's, they're actually a Transylvanian royalty. Uh, the whole German royalty that runs England is actually Transylvanian. But nothing against Transylvanians, just something against Count Dracula. <laughs> the guy feeding on him. Uh, maybe it is the Count Dracula. Who, who the hell knows these days? Uh, but um, Prince Charles has been offered a veto over 12 government bills since 2005. And, and by offered, they imply, oh, he doesn't have this power. But it goes on. The prince's power applies when a bill might affect his own interest. Oh, against the 70 million in the U.K., in particular, the duchy, the duchy, his little area of Cornwall, a private 700 million pound property empire that last year provided him with 18 million pounds in income. They're just telling their slaves a small bit. I have read the Parliament Act and other deals. I've read the Canadian Parliament Act. I've read all the Commonwealth Parliament Acts. We've had expert guests on. Over half of Australia, England and Canada, is owned by the private corporate crown, okay? When I've been in England repeatedly, they tell you on the tours, half the city is shut down today for roads, you must show a pass. The royal family is exercising their authority to shut down roads. They shut the Thames River down sometimes to exercise their power. You ever read, you can pull it up, that the Queen 30 years ago banned all billboards on highways in England because she didn't like them? She owns the roadways. Now, the parliament took power for a while. They executed a few of these people, but over time, they took back over. And the point is, three times in the last three years, they've suspended parliament in Canada because the people were going to throw out the North American Union and globalism. And his mother, the Transylvanian queen, not even German. I remember on British radio, I point out, you know, you tell me about your, your country all day, but your, you know, your queen's German. Technically, they're Transylvanian. I mean, it's unbelievable. We, we even got one with, with, with him next to Vlad. There's an article. Type in, uh, type in uh, Prince Charles. Yeah, there it is. Look, look, just the light. I mean, this is just too much, ladies and gentlemen. This is too much. Uh, I mean, these legends all mean something. It means these are a bunch of blood-sucking, parasitical pieces of rat-infested trash, and I've had enough of them. I mean, this is the scourge of Romania and Moldova and the Carpathian Mountains we're talking about here. His, their entire line was known for bathing in blood and killing children and everything other evil. These are ruthless psychopaths who have genetics for psychopathic activity, bare minimum. Who knows what evil manifestation we're witnessing here? This is a literal hellraiser creature who says old people shouldn't be able to take hot baths or have power, but it turns out a third of the country's gas allotment under welfare goes to their hundreds of palaces and garbage. All right, I'm going to stop my ranting. The prince's power applies. The prince's power applies when a new bill might affect his own interest, like his duchy, his, 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 his holdings. They hold you as subjects, as slaves. But my ancestors threw off these people. And I've had enough of it. I am not your slave, you inbred, degenerate parasite. Get off my back now. I, I, I swear on the altar of God, eternal resistance to you and your vampiric, parasitic garbage. Get out of my world now. Get behind me. I banish you. You are exercised. Say it with me, viewers. You are exercised. Count Dracula, get the hell out of the world. Get out of here. Try to go to the moon and suck blood out of rocks or something, you piece of, you know what. And it goes on to say a constitutional loophole that gives him the right to veto legislation that, that might affect his private interest. I mean, research this. Stop living in denial. Admit your slaves and announce yourselves as free men. Okay, let's continue here. The system wants to try to censor more and more. 
And we had the Federal Reserve try to take down some videos we did. And we challenged it and blocked it, but there, we showed you their official uh, request to take it down. It's come out the feds order Google to take stuff down all the time now. Uh, police don't like stuff, they order it taken down. It's just, it's, it's, it's Chinese stalling that censorship coming here. But we uploaded the video of the war crimes, as you know, Friday from this live show, and they blocked it under parental concerns. And we pointed out in the video, Walter Cronkite during the family hour at 6 o'clock at night could show stuff just as bad, kids burned by napalm. But in 2011, we can't show real stuff, kids with their lower mandibles blown off and their legs blown off in Libya. I mean, if you guys are into this blood and stuff for your vampire masters, then hell, look at it. You know, own it. Decide you're for it. Don't try to keep folks from seeing it. I know you want to do this behind closed doors and things, but it's not going to happen. We uploaded it again with the headline, Google, stop censoring war crimes. And they have not removed that one yet. So we're in a holding pattern right now with that. Again, Google censors war crimes video. But now we've re-uploaded it and they have and thrown down the gauntlet and said, look, we're going to try some kind of legal action or something if you do this again. I'm going to march into court with a jury and say, here's Walter Cronkite, 6 o'clock at night, dinner hour, kids with their skin burned off, napalm. Folks had a right to see this. Uh, now, uh, here is our stuff. From 2011, they're saying we can't have this. Uh, the, here's their rules of service. Are they violating it? What's your answer? You, you, I mean, you want to try that, Huckleberry? We're ready for that right now. Not that we're looking forward to it, but you know what? Somebody's got to champion these kids. Because you know what? You're not, you're not murdering these kids, and I'm not going to just sit here and not say something. Because let me tell you something. I'm God-fearing. It doesn't mean I'm Bible-thumping and running around doing much of that. I mean, I feel the psychic weight of evil done in my name. Literal chains I envision being wrapped around me and thrown me in the ocean. You're not doing this in my name. You understand that? It's not because I'm even a good person. I don't want all that bad karma, all that psychic detritus attached to me, okay? If I'm going to kill somebody, they're going to damn well deserve it, not some kid. If I'm going to attack somebody, it's going to be a man. It's not going to be some kid. Like I told you last week, it's Tony Montana. When they're driving about, about to blow that kid up. He says, you think I'm sick like you? You think, you think I need this in my life? When we allow all this to happen, it makes it part of our life. It's on me. I feel guilty for not doing more to stop you murdering scumbags like cowards with drones bombing the hell out of people. And here's the thing. The drones are now coming back on us. They're saying they're going to use this stuff against us now, these out-of-control crooks that run our society. <sighs> Let me get to my last report. Concerns are raised about genetically engineered mosquitoes. And it says uh, that uh, the research is arousing concern about possible unintended effects of public health and the environment because once genetically modified insects are released, they cannot be recalled. Now, what is being deployed, the New York Times reports? Mosquitoes that forcibly give you, quote, vaccines or that are carrying attenuated diseases in them. Oh, that's a great idea. Mosquitoes that can't reproduce. Mosquitoes are annoying. But a lot of experts and epidemiologists and virologists pointed out they actually give you immunity. You know, there's a reason they're here. We're designed to have them in the environment. And you, you take them out of the environment. You think bees dying out is killing things, which is now happening. Now we're going to kill out mosquitoes, make them where they can't breed. Oh, that, that, let's just release these. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a wonderful idea. But meanwhile, the real testing when you get into this is not about stopping them from, from, from stopping uh, malaria. When you read deeper, they're actually saying they're going to be pharmacological mosquitoes, just like food crops where they engineer it in. Yeah, there it is, flying vaccinations. They found an article on it. I mean, I've been warning you about this. Uh, you know, last week we shot a video that only got 105,000 views. It should have gotten 10 million views called Alien Genetic Takeover, the End of Humanity. And I went on to say, no, we don't mean alien from outside the earth. When you cross a fish or an animal, a, a, a mammal with dozens of different creatures and it creates new viral mutations and bacterial things. I mean, this is already causing zoological jumping between species. I mean, I've had top virologists on. This is so dangerous. But Bill Gates thinks it's all funny. He's got an equation where he talks about vaccinations lowering population. And then he goes into joking about it and releases mosquitoes and says, well, it's good for the third world. It's good for you. And it's all part of a crook, 
a, a eugenicist. His dad ran Planned Parenthood in your face telling you what they're going to do to you. So uh, here he is. Four factors, a little bit of multiplication. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, probably one of these... Notice in the equation, the idea that we're using energy is a bad idea. This is the idea is man is bad, period. Let's continue with literal Dr. Evil. Numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Now, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Now, malaria is, of course, transmitted by mosquitoes. Uh, I brought some here. There he is releasing so them. So you could uh, experience this. We'll let, let those roam around Excuse the uh, <laughs> auditorium a little bit. There. There's no reason only poor people should have, have the experience. Uh, they think it's funny. So, like, as long as you get laughed at while they slit your throat, it's funny. So there's uh, that report. You know what? I'm basically done at that point. I've tried to warn you, uh, you know, glowing pigs, glowing cats, humans crossed with spiders. I mean, it's all out there. They're killing them in embryonic phase, uh, they claim, but they're actually bringing them through to development. I've talked to some high-powered insiders. We're trying to get them on air. Uh, these people are on power trips playing God, and we're going to come back and talk to Fritz Springmeier, who is a political prisoner, about uh, why he thinks they're doing this. And I've looked at Fritz's case. They did 100% set him up. And so uh, this could be all of our fates if we don't turn this around. Because as they say, that uh, when tyranny prevails, the best men rot in filthy jails. It's InfoWars Nightly News, the Money Bomb, 27-hour broadcast, 24-plus hours coming up Thursday, 11 a.m., with so many incredible guests. It's going to blow you away. We're going to have free audio and video streams. We always have audio for everybody on our own platform and several others. Starting tomorrow, we're going to have the, 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 the daytime TV radio show and the nighttime show posted on InfoWars for everybody into the Money Bomb that funds our operation. Uh, help us produce psychic stakes to drive through vampires' hearts. This is an InfoWar. You can start donating now at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. If you choose to accept this mission, we'll be right back. Great job to the crew.